on guys brave here welcome back to the elder scrolls online and today i want to make a video kind of giving some tips to all of you new players out there kind of participating in the uh pvp event that's going on or maybe some of you pve players that don't really play a lot of pvp i want to kind of give you some tips to make this a lot easier so you're just not going into pvp getting destroyed and kind of feeling lost or whatever the case may be i wouldn't say i'm an experienced I guess I would say I'm an experienced PvP player, but I have more knowledge of PvE than I do PvP. I play a lot of Battlegrounds, I play a good bit of Cyrodiil, but I play a lot more PvE than I do PvP just in general. So I found a lot of ways that I can kind of play these events that are just PvP strict, uh, kind of strictly PvP events, and kind of get away with doing it being pretty much a PvE style player. The first thing I want to talk about, of course, is kind of getting into a campaign if you're wanting to go into Cyrodiil getting into a campaign that's not very populated and I will tell you why here in just a second but as you can see um, a lot of these you know uh, servers will be extremely full like you can kind of see the server population by you know AD uh, Ebonheart and Daggerfall here when you look you know when you look inside the campaign menu and as you can see some of these are full some of them are not if you're wanting to just kind of go in, farm AP, do some dailies, not really have to change your gear out, just run your PvE gear, I would recommend going into something kind of like this uh, campaign I'm in here. As you can see, the AD side is got a little bit of a population. Of course, I'm Aldar Dominion. So uh, the Ebonheart and Dagger Fall side really don't have a lot of stuff going on, so you don't have to worry about a lot of people, you know, killing you or being in your way. So whatever, you know, whatever alliance that you're in, kind of find a server that's populated with your alliance and not really any other alliance. And once you're in Cyrodiil, what you want to do is go to some of these areas here, like um, Velastris, for example, Cropsford, um, up here at Bruma. All of these towns or these farms will have quest givers that will give you daily quests. Now, these are daily PvE quests that may send you in a delve inside of Cyrodiil. It's going to give you just kind of just like daily missions you would out in the PvE world. The reason you can, the reason these are good to do is because first of all, once you do one and turn it in, you will get your event tickets. But second of all, you can continue to farm these and get AP, which of course is, you know, currency that you can spend inside of Cyrodiil. Also, you can use your 100% XP inside of Cyrodiil and here and that will, you know, rank you up. Of course, that 100% XP can only be used in PvP, not in anything in PvE, so keep that in mind. Also, uh, you can farm just the boxes, the boon boxes that drop, and they will have a lot of transmute crystals and things like that in it. And I have played a ton of Battlegrounds today and got over 100 transmute crystals just out of my boon boxes. Also, you'll get some stuff for alchemy inside that and a lot of other items as well, but... It's just a good way to get in here with PvE gear on. I don't have to worry really about fighting other players and just pretty much doing daily missions like you would. But just keep in mind, like I said, you are in a PvE world, uh, PvP world, excuse me. And if you have PvE gear on, you're pretty much going to get destroyed by anybody that's a PvP player because PvE gear is not really made for damage mitigation in PvP. Now, if you want to go into something like a, you know, a, a Cyrodiil campaign and actually play pvp physically uh my best suggestion to you would be drop your pve gear you're going to need something as you can see all my gear here has in pin on it so you want something with impenetrable on it that way you have a little bit more damage mitigation even if you're not an experienced pvp person you'll still be able to take some more damage and not get killed as quickly also when you go into pvp just put lfg in the chat that way you can find a group to run around with and a, the bigger the group you're in, the easier it's going to be for you to kind of just hang out and, and help do some damage or help heal or help support or whatever the case may be without having to, you know, just focus on really having to fight a lot of people by yourself. Um, the one thing you can do if you're not wanting to spend money on PvP gear is go craft some PvP gear, whether it be something like Shackle Breaker or one of the new sets like New Moon Acolyte. If you cannot craft them, find someone or find a friend to craft it for you. Just make some in pin gear, whatever your own, you know, light, medium, heavy, whatever you need. And that way you won't have to spend a lot of money going to buy PvP gear because some really good gear is going to be kind of expensive. And if you're not going to play a lot, it's kind of a waste. And last but not least, the thing that I kind of want to talk about is going into Imperial City. Now, of course, you can go into the campaign and go into Imperial City instead of Cyrodiil. 
If you're going to go into Imperial City, make sure that you do have it out of the DLC section. It doesn't cost you anything. It is free. And Imperial City is a PvE world kind of slash PvP world. There are a lot of areas in there that you can fight other players, but there's also a lot of bosses and a lot of ads that you can fight as well. So pretty much the same principle. It's kind of being out here in Cropsford and in those kind of places where you're just farming those daily quests. You can go in Imperial City. Once again, go in there, put LFG in the chat, find a group, run around, kill the bosses, kill the ads. You can farm Tevlar stones, you can farm your AP, and you also can farm the boon boxes. I hope this kind of helps you out, guys. Like I said, I just kind of want to make a guide for PvE players to kind of how to do these PvP events without having to really worry about just getting into, you know, like Battlegrounds or Cyrodiil and worrying about having to play uh, these kind of hardcore sweaty PvP players that are really good and really know their rotations. Because when it comes to PvP, if you know a rotation, you can do some good damage. You can also have some good damage mitigation with your shields and also heal yourself and really be really good with your bar swapping. Pretty much the same concept as PvE. But when you come up against players like that and you're not used to you know playing PvP, it is kind of frustrating. So hopefully these will be some tips that will help you out. That way you don't have to do too much PvP to enjoy the kind of experience of the event overall. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if it did, make sure you hit the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the right top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Also, if you have a chance, share the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.